हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू सिविल इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब और चैनल फॉर डेली सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वीडियोस इन टुडे लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू शो दैट हाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट द लोड कैरिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ अ कॉलम सो हियर आर द क्रॉस सेक्शनल डिटेल्स ऑफ द कॉलम आर गिवन टू अस हियर द डेप्थ ऑफ द कॉलम एंड द विड्थ ऑफ द कॉलम आर आल्सो गिवन टू अस हियर द डेप्थ और द हाइट ऑफ द कॉलम इज 300 एमएम एंड द विड्थ ऑफ द कॉलम इज आल्सो 300 एमएम इट मींस इट इज अ स्क्वायर कॉलम स्क्वायर कॉलम द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स कंप्रेसिव स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द कंक्रीट इज आल्सो गिवन टू अस व्हिच इज 200 व्हिच इज 20 मेगापास्कल सो दिस इज द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द कंक्रीट यूज्ड इन दिस कॉलम दिस इज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स कंप्रेसिव स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द कंक्रीट कंप्रेसिव स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ कंक्रीट एन the if y is 500 mega pascal it means the strength of the the yield strength of the steel bar here used is 500 mega pascal if y is the yield strength of steel bar and s is the longitudinal reinforcement longitudinal area of the reinforcement Longitudinal area of the steel bar is 200 square millimeter. It's the area of only these steel bars. It's it doesn't include the the area of the transverse bar. They are not included. Only the area of the longitudinal bars, which are the main bars. I mean here one, two, three, four. So the area of these bar are given to us, which is 200 square millimeter. So now how we can find out the load carrying capacity? for this column so we will use the simple equation according to the is indian standard 456 2000 and the class number is 39.3 so here by using this equation we can find out the the load carrying capacity of the column which is equal to 0.4 into f ck into area a c into area of the concrete and adding with the 0.67 into f y into area of the steel bar so this equation is used to find out the load carrying capacity of the column this equation now here are the different parameters for example the first one is the f c k which is the Characteristic compressive strength of the concrete, which is given to us for this column, is it is twenty mega pascal. The AC is the area of the concrete. Area of the concrete means the cross sectional area of the concrete, which is given also to us. So we just multiplied the multiplying the depth and the width of the column. So we get here ninety thousand ninety thousand square millimeter. This is the cross sectional area of the concrete. And then 0.67 is a constant. Then F Y, which is the yield strength of the concrete, the sorry yield strength of the steel bar, which is 500 mega pascal. And the last one is the A S, which is the area of the, which is the longitudinal area of the steel bar. You should keep in mind that this does not include the transverse uh, area. I mean the ties area. This area is not included. The transverse reinforcement it only includes the area of the longitudinal bars the main bars this is the area of the main bars so a is is equal to the 200 square millimeter so now putting all these values into the equation so you will get pu is equal to 0.4 multiplying it with the fck which is 20 multiplying it with the area of the concrete here which is 90000 and then adding with 0.67 multiplying it with the fy which is 500 mega pascal multiplying it with the 200 square millimeter area of the steel bar so by multiplying and adding all these parameters and all these values we got here the strength the load carrying capacity for this column equal to 787000 newton or we can say the load carrying capacity will be equal to the 787 kN so this is the load carrying capacity for this column 
which is the depth of 300 and width of 300 mm and the concrete strength of 200 megapascal the yield strength of the steel bar is 500 megapascal and the cross-sectional area of the 200 square millimeter if we change any of these parameters we will we will have get different load carrying capacity of the column so all these factor affect the load carrying capacity of the column so hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video